Today I'm going to show you how to make this one piece swimsuit or bodysuit. Just something to take note, the pattern is layered for both the A4 and A0 format so you can isolate the sizes that you want. Just make sure that when you are printing it, you're printing it at 100% or do not scale and double check that the test square measurements match before proceeding. If you are printing using the A4 format, you'll notice you'll have to join the pattern pieces together. Just match the corresponding letters in the hearts and you'll be able to join the pieces together seamlessly. The pattern is a little franken and that's because I try to be as mindful as possible when drafting them to ensure minimal paper waste. When you've joined everything together, you can cut it out in your desired size and you'll be left with these two pieces. One for the back and one for the front. And you can use these pattern pieces to cut it in the fabric of your choice using either a rotary cutter or a pair of scissors, whatever that's most comfortable for you. Just make sure that you are using swim fabric and also non-woven elastic. For the most accurate result, I really recommend just outlining your pattern before you do the cutout. This just ensures the pattern won't warp or stretch when you're stitching it as it has some structure to hold it in place and it will give you the most smoothest result. You're going to take your back pieces and match them right sides together and I like to use a combination of pins and clips just to ensure that everything matches and it is in place. We're going to stitch the neckline, the shoulder seams, the cutouts and the leg openings. So just to reiterate, these are the places that you want to stitch and these are the places you want to leave open. You're going to repeat that same exact process matching the notches for the front pieces as well. I'm just going to use the cutting blade on my serger just to trim as I stitch it but if you're using a zigzag stitch, you want to zigzag it before you cut the opening out. And just be careful and mindful that you're not accidentally cutting any stitches when doing this. Don't forget to add elastic to all these seams that you have stitched. I do it by measuring the opening, not including seam allowance and deducting about 30% from that measurement and slowly stretching and easing it in. This way you have the most accurate result. You'll end up with two pieces like this, one for the front and one for the back. Now we're going to take the back piece and we're going to turn it right sides out. It might be a bit finicky because of all the little cutouts but take your time and you'll end up with something like this. We're basically going to sandwich the back piece inside the front piece like so but it's going to be sandwiched on the inside okay and don't worry if it's a bit wonky right now when you wear it it stretches out and it fits like a glove. So I like to use my little loop turner and I will go section by section. So I'll start with the side seams near the bus and then I'll move on to the straps and I just work my way down ensuring that the piece is nice and flat before I close all those openings with a straight stitch. When it's all done, we're going to create a little opening so that we can turn the entire suit right sides out. So just take your time and undo a couple of stitches and then slowly bring it towards the right side. When you've made that opening, you can slowly start bringing the suit all out. And honestly, I love doing this because it feels like magic almost. Everything's coming together and matching perfectly and it's looking so great. And you can just do a little hand stitch to close that opening up. And there you have it. A really flattering, figure-hugging, curve-friendly, one-piece swimsuit or bodysuit. Thank you for watching. You can leave any questions you have below and I will see you in the next one.